Curtis, you didn't play a whole lot yesterday. So what was it like coming up, not only in the ninth inning, but in you know the the inning before having that that big moment? Well, I feel like I'm ready at all times, you know, because coach can call my name at any time, so I got to be ready at all times. So I was ready when the moment came and they got the job done. He put me in the game to bunt, sack bunt, and I ended up walking. So that gave me confidence. And then the big hit I had in the last ninth inning got me confidence. Curtis, what, what, what pitch did you hit and kind of what, what was in your mind that in the ninth inning at that at bat? Uh, I hit a curveball. And you want to know what I was thinking before that bat or when I hit it? And when you went into the bat, just what were you thinking? I was hoping to get my team. I knew I was a good leadoff hitter in innings, and I wanted to give my team any chance they can get to win the game. So I felt like if I get on base, you know, I'm a speed runner, I can either steal a base or I got a couple guys behind me, Nesbitt, Sack Bunt, and then you got Martin top of the lineup. I feel like I could get a, they were going to knock me in. Got the base set. Were you thinking right then? I'm going to score this run. You know, <laughs> it gave us a lot of momentum. I feel like it gave everybody confidence that we were going to win this game. Got having a speed run on on base in the first inning. And maybe Heston, you can answer this too. Both times after you came up, Nesbitt did a nice job of, of putting a bunt down. What what can you say about those two instances? Well, want to know about Nesbitt? Yeah, about his bunts. Oh, he. Yesterday he had trouble trying to get a bunt down, and he worked on it today, this morning, in an early hit. He said he was going to get better at his bunting, so he did that and showed up in the game. You know, Coach always talks about how getting a bunt down is going to help us in a key moment, and Nesbitt got two of those down today to get a runner in the scoring position. It was huge for us. Um, Heston, Dave Van Horn was saying you had a really mature at bat in the ninth you know, and, and that your approach was good. And when the previous at bat, maybe you swung at some pitches out of the strike zone. Um, what, what, what was the thought process? And what, what, you know, especially when you struggled in the previous at bat with a guy on third? Uh, you know, it was a bad at bat, flushed it, and I just went up there clear with a easy approach, just trying to hit something hard up the middle to score CJ. A lot of times when they pitch around somebody, the next guy gets a hit. How much of a motivation was that for you to see them work around Casey to get to you? Oh, I, I was excited to go up, get another at-bat on the day, and have a chance to get another runner across the board to win it for us. Heston, what, what, what pitch did you hit for the game winner? Uh, fastball. And Patrick, you obviously uh, were striking a lot of guys out. Just what was what was it like for you to be out there the first time, and how'd you feel like it went for you? Um, overall, it was a really great experience. Like first time being out there and being in front of a great crowd, great fan base. I mean, it's always great having a great fan base and all the all the fans behind you. Just getting like just going out, and just doing what we got to do. Uh, Van Horn said how he thought it really helped you, would help you all to have a tight game going before you play Southern Cal. Just what was the feeling to have, you know, after two kind of laughers to, to play one down to the wire? You know, it's, it's just good experience for the younger guys and for us older guys to get a game in there to where every out matters and, you know, the little things add up and made the difference at the end of the game and just be ready for that because a lot of our games this year are going to be one run games and those are the ones that normally matter the most or come down to the wire. Well, us going into South Carolina, I mean, uh, Southern California, uh, it's going to be a big uh, series for us. It's going in. Everybody expects us to be like a, not as good as last year's team going into the World Series. So I feel like this is going to be a big series going into us for us. Hey, Patrick, with the fall you had, how much confidence did you have coming in today, knowing how well you pitched this fall? Um, I, I had a lot of confidence coming in. Um, my main goal was just like not not let the, get, uh, not let the atmosphere get like to me too much. Um, I just had the mindset of like, just going out there and just keep my composure, throw strikes, get ahead. 
that was my whole mindset today. Patrick, uh, what was working for you in that first inning, and did you kind of surprise yourself? You were able to strike out three guys on ten pitches. <laughs> uh, I like I had everything working that, uh, today. I felt good in the bullpen coming out. Um, I mean, I I can't say I was surprised, but like it wasn't the debut. I was like really like okay, I want to go out and do this. I mean, I just want to go out and get three outs as fast as possible, get us back in the dugout. like you were ready to throw before the batter got in the box each time um, oh yeah I mean I'm getting go type of guy like I just I just like keeping my own tempo yes, just, well, just what was the feeling when they tied it up and you know it looked like you guys might win it two to nothing and then all of a sudden it's you know you need a big hit I mean, what, 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 was there a lot of comments like hey we're going to take care of this or what, what was the feeling Oh yeah, they they put those two runs up on the board, but all of us in the dugout were talking. Uh, someone's gonna get this done for us. Didn't matter who, but we knew someone would step up in the end, and we would scrape across a few runs, and our pitchers would hold them to those two runs for us.